Hey, I'm Shantanese and I'm the owner of SS Tresses and we specialize in Southeast Asian virgin hair extensions. But lately, I've been really wanting to expand my product line and add some raw textures. So I decided to create a series here on TikTok to show you guys exactly what I plan on doing to implement this new quality of hair to my line. Now, I'm not new to raw hair at all, but I've had a very long standing relationship with my virgin hair vendor. So I never really took it seriously and gave it the time, attention and dedication that it deserves. But I'm ready to change that. And I know that there's a lot of other women here and girls on you on TikTok and just all over that are interested in getting into the hair business, but have no idea where to start. So if I was brand new to the hair business, the first thing I would do is go and find or think of a name, um, basically name my company, think of something that's catchy, think of something that fits the aesthetic or the vibe of my company. And I would then go to godaddy.com to make sure that that name is actually available. And then I would pay, if it is available, I would pay to reserve and maintain and keep basically the rights to use that domain name. That way you can use that name for your website. So you've gotten your domain name, you know what you wanna sell, I would say the next step would be to file for your LLC, but to be quite honest, if I could go back, I would hold off on that until I was starting to see revenue in my business. I say that because sometimes you want to do something and it doesn't turn out the way that you thought it would, or maybe you're not as good as it as you thought you were. Um, but when you file an LLC, you are responsible for submitting annual reports and filing your business taxes. So there's just some other things that go along with that. So I would hold off on doing that step just until you're 110% sure that selling hair is something that you can do and that's something that you want to do. Now that you've gotten your domain name, you know what you want to sell, you have all of that squared away, the next thing that I would do is start looking for a vendor. You should have already been looking for a vendor throughout this whole process. Um, you can start that even before you look for your domain name and your business name, uh, but you definitely want to really start looking for a vendor. This process takes, at least for me, it took me a while to find my vendor. Now, nowadays you have vendors lists, you have, you know, information at your disposal. So it might not be that hard for you. Maybe you already know of a vendor that you want to work with, um, but you want to make sure that you find a vendor. Once you find your vendor, you want to test the hair. Like I cannot stress this enough. You don't want to sell a product that you haven't tested yourself. Um, you want to know the ins and outs of your product better than anyone. You already know your hair inside, outside, forwards, backwards, up and down. Okay, so you want to make sure you find a vendor. If you already have a vendor, make sure you're ordering samples. You can buy one bundle at a time if you can, but to be completely real with y'all, you need to be wearing this hair. You can do all the, te the burn tests, the, the bleach test to one bundle, but that's not really going to give you an idea of how the hair is going to wear over time. You want to install it multiple times. You want to do multiple styles, straightening, curling. You want to bleach it a few times. You, you really want to put this hair through the ringer so that you can see exactly what kind of product you're working with. So you know how to market, you know how to sell, and you know how to price your product. So to look for vendors, you can of course use Alibaba. You can use uh, DHgate, I believe as well. Um, you all can you can also use Instagram. Um, I know a lot of vendors are posting on Instagram. You can use a lot of different social media platforms, but the one that I mainly use is Alibaba, and I do use Instagram as well. So use those two social media sources or apps. Find your vendor. If you already have a vendor who you're thinking about selling, then make sure that you've tested the product. Okay, if you've already tested your product and you're 100% sure that the quality is A1 chef's kiss, ready to go, then now you're ready for the last step that's going to be in this video. Um, and that's going to be to work on your target audience. So if you're not sure, target audience is basically a particular group of people that your product is aimed at. You want to create an avatar of the idea of your ideal customer. You want to know, um, how old is she? What's the age range? Um, where does she shop? Does she have kids? Is she single? Um, is like, what's her profession? What does she do? Where does she like to watch on TV? What music does she listen to? Knowing this information will give you a crystal clear idea of how to market your product. Um, because you can market, but sometimes you might get people who aren't going to pay for your product depending on the price point. So you want to make sure that you are marketing towards that specific and particular group so that you have more of a chance of selling your product 
at the price that you want to the people that you want to wear it. Figure out who your target audience is, create a avatar name. So by the time we get to the second episode, you guys should have already started looking for a vendor. You guys should have already found a name. You guys should have already looked into going to godaddy.com and finding out if your name is available. You should already be looking on Alibaba and Instagram if you haven't started looking for a vendor. You should already be doing that. And then you should start, you should already have started working on your target audience uh, avatar. So the name of the avatar for my virgin hair extensions, her name is Kendra. Okay, so that's the name of my avatar and I can go down the list and tell you a bunch of things about Kendra. Uh, but I basically want you guys to come up with a list of um, demographic information and personality information um, that will better tell me and you who your target customer is. That way you can sell faster and quicker. So I'm gonna end the video on that. But um, if there's anything that I might have forgotten, any other business entrepreneurs or any other people who might have been listening to this video, please leave that down below. But I don't know any everything. I don't claim to know everything. I do have a business and this is just what I've learned in doing business for myself. I want these videos in this series to serve as a resource so people can come back and watch, they can read the comments, and they can find um, all the information that they need. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in episode two. Bye. And I forgot to mention that I am interested in selling raw Indian hair as well as possibly raw Vietnamese. Those are the two raw uh, textures that I am looking at. So those are the two um, countries of origin that I'm like sourcing hair from and talking to different vendors from. So I already have a potential Vietnamese vendor that I'm speaking with. I have not actually purchased the hair from them yet. Obviously you guys know that there's a time difference. Um, so I'm still waiting for them to get back to me with like more information. I will let you guys know um, once I've placed my sample order, what my sample order looks like, and then what I plan to do to test the hair, how I plan to install it and all that stuff. We'll get into all that good stuff, but I realized watching the video back that I didn't mention um, where I am in the process as well. So I just found a possible Indian vendor, so I've begun communications with them as well. And I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes.